new this morning. If you haven't shipped all your holiday gifts yet, no problem. Eva Jackson from the U.S. Postal Service is here with us to talk this morning about holiday shipping. Absolutely, and even we only have uh, eight days now left until Christmas. What do we need to do to make sure that uh, our gifts get there on time? Well, hopefully you're done shopping for all your holiday gifts, and now it's time to pack them up and get them off to the post office for mailing. All right, so you mentioned Monday is the busiest day. You're going to be slammed at the post office. You might want to go today. Yeah. We're expecting on Monday nationwide to process 611 million pieces of mail. So You're that's be all slammed. in one day. Okay, so yes. tell us the biggest mistake that people make when they're shipping stuff. Well, you need to make sure whatever you package your item in, it's sturdy enough. So we suggest priority mailboxes, which are free at the post office. They come in different sizes, and many of them are flat rates. So whatever you can fit in the box, it will ship for one low price. You also want to make sure that you cushion whatever you're packaging, especially if it's something fragile, something that might be glass or crystal. Make sure you wrap it in bubble wrap. Um, tissue paper sometimes shift and newspaper also sometimes shifts. So bubble wrap, all these things you can find at the post office. If you're packing at night in the post office and the stores are closed and you need something to package. This is a brilliant idea. Popcorn. It is the best thing and you can nibble on it yes. while you're packing. So popcorn, cool popcorn, no butter, no salt. <laughs> right. Just plain air popped popcorn is great. Also, we ask if you're mailing toys to please take the batteries out. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when the toys move around, they turn on. Right. And it, makes us a little cautious as to what is in that package so please remove the batteries and pack them separately and then of course packing tape no scotch tape no masking tape get actual packing tape which we also offer at the postal mm -hmm. service so pack it all up put a, sh a piece of paper in there with the address where it's going to and the return address in case something happens to the outside of the box and that's something we hadn't thought of that's yeah. a great idea pack it all up make sure you have the correct address on the outside both to and from and bring it on in. If you use priority mail, you automatically get $50 worth of insurance. And we want to talk a little bit about theft. We're doing a ton of stories, um, people stealing packages. There, there are a few things. Tell us the, the big ways that you can prevent that. Right. First of all, if you go onto our website, USPS.com, we have uh, My USPS. You can sign up for that. And any packages that are being delivered or sent to your address, they'll show up on there and you get somewhat of a dashboard so you can manage when these packages are coming. If you're not gonna be home that day and you don't feel comfortable with your package sitting at your porch, you can go on there and give us instructions. You could say, please hold it at the post office till I come by and pick it up. Please place it behind the potted plant so it's out of sight. Or you could, you know, ask your neighbor if you trust That's them, best, yeah. you know, could you yeah. swing by? I'm expecting this package. Could you swing by the house and pick it up for me? Eva, thank you You're so much. Welcome. And a lot of post offices close at noon today, today. So if you want to avoid the, the rush on Monday, do it today. Right. Okay.